What's going on guys, it's Amos Games, and today I have for you some leaked Assassin's Creed Unity system requirements for the PC. But please take this in mind, this is a rumour, so do take this with a pinch of salt, and it's most likely this won't be the final rumours, but it's fine, spe final special spe specifications, I mean, um, I do apologise for that mess up there. So let's get on with the minimum system requirements, and um, from... My last system requirements video from a year ago about Call of Duty, I learnt how to say minimum. So, the system requirements, the rumoured minimum system requirements are, well, for the operating system, Windows 7 64-bit, of course, any 64-bit operating system, Windows 7 or 8 is probably the most recommended, but the CPU is an Intel Core i5 2500K at 3.3 GHz, or the AMD equivalent of an Athlon, AMD Athlon FX, 8350 clocked at 4 GHz. Um, yeah, I like Intel better because <laughs> it's saying that the current of the second gen i5 is the same as uh, FX 8350 clocked at 4 GHz. So I don't really get that. But anyway, let's get on to the RAM, which is 6 GB of RAM, the GPU RAM, 2 GB of graphical memory. The GPU itself, an Nvidia GeForce GTX 680 or AMD Radeon 7970. Now, last time I said that. In my previous video, I got mixed up with which is better in the AMD or Nvidia, so I'm not going to bother commenting on that, but I think 680 is better, but please correct me if I'm wrong. HDD, this is the space probably this will take up. 50 gigabytes free hard drive space, that is the size of the game. 50 gigabytes installation size is how much space you need just for the game alone. I don't know about DLC or other updates, but... DirectX you need is 11, no surprise there, audio, audio, DirectX 9, compatible sound card, which is just any sound, you don't, your inbuilt audio sound for your motherboard or laptop, whatever you have, you don't need to go out and buy a new sound card, and online, just saying the minimum bandwidth speed of your internet, that's all you need. So, the minimum system requirements, uh, seems a bit hefty, don't you think? 6 gigabyte system memory for minimum? A uh, little bit too high, but nothing for me to worry about. I've already got 8 gigabytes of RAM, soon upgrading to 16. I've got nothing to worry about here, but people on the budget, yeah. It should, I, I personally, I believe the minimum system requirements should be 4 gigabytes of RAM at least. GPU RAM, 2 gigabytes. I'm okay with that. That's like the standard for graphics cards these days, and the new 900 series, well, all have like just about 4 gigabytes of RAM anyway. But the thing that concerns me is a 680 for the minimum graphics card. Like, what the hell? What? How do you get a 680? Then, you, then you're thinking about, oh, console power to Ubisoft. What? I, sh I shouldn't really get all wound up about it because this is rumoured. But if this is true, and I highly doubt it because they're saying, oh, everything's got to run the same on PC as it has on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, I mean, and X-Bone. It's all got to run the same, so I highly doubt this is real. A 680 is quite some more powerful than the next-gen consoles, because it's about equivalent to, um, what's it, a 7870 AMD card? Or I think it's like a 660, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Please correct me in the comments down below if, you, if I am wrong again. So, yeah, that's all I really need to mention about and tell you about for the minimum requirements. And apart from 50 gigabyte free hard drive space, um, there's something to expect with all the modern games now. And uh, and and um, game spaces, the, the amount of space it takes is on the rise, so that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, so for the recommended system requirements, we have um, Windows 7 64 bit. But for the CPU, and this, this is a bit outrageous, like last year's rumoured... Call of Duty Ghost System requirements. CPU, an Intel Core i7 3770 at 3.4 GHz or an AMD FX 8350. How do you get an FX 8350 on minimum and on the recommenders? And as well as saying that it's the same as an i7 3770K, this is entirely different matter about what is better, but I said, I'll just say this, i7 would be better because you're paying a lot more price for it. But anyway, let's get back onto the video itself. RAM, 8 gigabytes of system memory. Um, I'm definitely hoping that's all the RAM it takes up. I'm just hoping that's, that's the saying this is the RAM you should have. So 
just so everything runs stable on Windows and that's it. I'm hoping that's what it's for. Nothing else, just so Windows can keep running stable. And the GPU RAM, 3 gigabytes of graf graphics memory. Like, why is it 3 gigabytes? We're not using external displays. Well, actually, you know, 3 gigabytes is for probably the high resolution textures. And for the GPU is an NVIDIA 980 or AMD Radeon 290X, which I'd say they're like on par with each other, I would say. Yeah, yeah the, the requirements are quite high, but thankfully, these are rumours, so this ain't the final requirements. So if you're getting all worried about it, saying, Oh god, I really want to play this game, but I don't think my computer's going to run it. Uh, I wouldn't worry right now until the official requirements have been released. So yeah, that's the rumoured requirements of Assassin's Creed Unity. It's pretty high in my terms and opinion. That is quite high. So this, if this is turns out to be official, this game better look bloody good, okay? This game better look good. Excuse me for a second. This game better look f***ing good! Okay, I just had to get that off my chest. I just had to shout it out loud, but anyway. And then we'll see, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more like news type videos or gaming videos or tech videos and reviews as I will be starting all of this fully and everything. So I'm going to see, I hope to see you in another video and goodbye.